What's up, everybody? Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Biscuit Dog, and we're back at Fat City. Man, it's actually been really, really complicated. I spent three hours last night trying to work out what everyone should be doing, and we've got so many people, and we need so much food, that it's become way, way more complicated. I need to really come up with a good plan, you guys. Anyway, we have new mods. We have the Reactive World mod, as requested by you guys, which allows us to wipe out the Holy Nation. That should be amazing. I mean, it's an amazing mod by the sounds of things. So as you wipe out the Holy Nation, depending on what side you wipe them out from, the opposing army will move inwards. So if you wipe them out from the north, United Cities will start moving into where you wipe them out from. If you wipe them out from the south, I think the Sheik will move in. It looks like a really, really amazing mod. Anyway, we're gonna wipe out the Holy Nation, hopefully, <laughs> and decide who gets their place. So uh, that's really, really exciting. We also have Hatsune Neko's attack slots times three, which allows us to gang up on our enemies three to one, or adversely them to gang up on us three to one. So depending on the numbers, that could be an interesting one. I also added Shidan's minor faction pacifiers so that we have some tech hunter pacifiers so we can make things right with them again. And the good thing is, the tech hunter pacifier is in Mongrel. That's just a hop and a skip away, you guys. Uh, we need to go to Mongrel anyway. Uh, just see how things are going there, maybe have a drink, you know, cool out. I love the people of Mongrel. Hopefully they love me too. <laughs> we'll see in a few episodes. Anyway, we've got loads and loads of stuff to do, like I was saying. Stuff is way more complicated now with all these people. We've got a, it's like a, it's like a finely tuned machine. Actually right now it's a really badly tuned machine. Things are a mess, let's just say. I'm trying to get everybody busy, but that's harder than it sounds. I've got a bunch of people building stuff. I've got a bunch of people farming stuff. We're going to run out of food because we like doubled our numbers. So I'm trying to pack in as many hydro farms as possible um, into our existing farm but we need a bigger farm building than this so i don't know if we should build another watchtower maybe and just fill that with with farms or we're gonna have to build a, a really big new building and fill it with farms i think we've got enough farmers right now i'm gonna have to switch around the uh the squads and everything i need to make a samurai squad i need to make the raptor clan squad again i don't think i think rat boy shouldn't be in the raptor clan anymore he's t he's too much of a boss i think brahm should take over I think Rat Boy should get a new project. I'm not sure what that is yet, but it's going to be great. Uh, he, he may do some work with the ninja in future, but f for now, I think I'm going to keep Rat Boy out of the Raptor clan. He taught them their way of life, and now they can carry on the tradition. I mean, Brom's a beast. I've been kidding Brom out with stealth goodies. Look at that. Stealth 90, man. He'll creep right up on you, man. So I think Brom's going to take all the ninja back to the claw at some point in the future. Not right now, though. We've got lots and lots of stuff to work out. Obviously, Keeper's going to be the head of the samurai, I think. And we're going to make some of the new recruits samurai. We're going to give them all lanterns. They're going to use the lanterns because they're going to be like the town watch, if you know what I mean. They're going to need some... Uh they're going to need some night lantern action. I think that makes the most sense for them. And then nobody else is going to carry lanterns. Then obviously we're going to have our just bog standard normal freaks free people of fat city the fatters <laughs> and <clears throat> and they're going to be doing their thing bookmark settling in nicely she's been re she's been researching a bunch of stuff man i thought we had more blueprints than we did a lot of the blueprints that i brought back uh now just say okay that's a blueprint but a lot of them just say blueprints stolen and they're giving me nothing and that kind of sucks because i know that i took two fancy rug blueprints and now i can't find them it's a tragedy you guys because i got all these fancy rugs and uh no blueprints for them that kind of sucks it is possible obviously that i've left them on somebody or somewhere so i'll do a proper check in between episodes and make sure that i don't have the fancy rug blueprints because we could really use those we're gonna need to build fergus's mansion at some point and we're gonna need to get fly building some walls because that's his that's his dream in life after all so i've had fly i think making building materials i've got a bunch of people doing a bunch of stuff so because of the because of the apparent inevitable food shortage i've got grow bag grow bag is back on the cactus farms uh i got slim jim and Amut mining stone i got fly and burner making building materials and i got a bunch of people farming and i've got beep and saru making food Cyrus making chew sticks out of the cactus, because waste not, want not. I mean, we've got loads of food. There's a bunch of meat there. There's a bunch of food over there. We've got a bunch of stuff there. 
and a bunch of stuff there. So we got two full barrels of food, a third almost full barrel of food, and a fourth with quite a lot of food. One thing I've noticed that's sucking is that the dogs and all the animals in general aren't able to eat out of this damn barrel anymore. So I've got to keep carting food out here and just kind of hanging out with it until they all eat their full. So I am I just kind of keep waiting for them all to be starving though. And then I do it and that fixes them up for a while. And that seems to be working because otherwise it wastes too much of my time. Yeah, we need as many new farms as possible. I think I'm going to build a massive hydroponic farming complex. Because guys, if we're going to raise an army, think about it. This just isn't going to cut it. <laughs> we we're probably going to need a massive cactus farm scheme as well. Maybe, maybe around the outside edge of the walls. We just put cactus farms. That's a load of cactus farms. Let's see how many farmers we've got and uh, how stretched they are after we've built all of these. So we've got at least another three here. That's going to up our yield quite significantly. The problem with building these now... Oh no, they've all got their green fruit in them. Great. Yes, rice, wheat, and green fruit. Okay, that's looking good. Just keep making food, you guys. Alright, so we've got quite a lot of food. And uh, we're farming like crazy. So hopefully we won't end up starving. If we do, we're going to have to go on a hunting trip or something. But uh, I don't think we will. I think I've spotted it in time. It's just that we've got way, way more mouths to feed now, so we've got to get the food up and running properly. We've also researched a bunch of stuff. Let's go back to Bookmark and take a look at her stats. Her science is 27 already, her engineering is 4, so she's researched a bunch of stuff. There's a bunch of other stuff for us to decide on as well. The only problem is we're kind of running out of ancient science books. Ain't that just the way? We went all over the map and didn't really find one ancient science book. We, these are the four that we had here in the first place. We're going to have to keep canvassing the hive villages, I guess, because sometimes they start selling ancient science books. And when they do, you can go back every day and uh, you can build up quite a nice pile like that. We don't need normal books or engineering research at all right now, really. Okay, so we've got a bunch of research to do. We've just got to prioritize because we don't have that many ancient science books. Automatic cotton loom, we don't need that right now. Double barrel harpoon turret, that might be cool. Two shots instead of one, how great would that be? Yeah, that sounds pretty great, but it does cost an AI core and two ancient science books. Ugh. We'll get to the AI cores in a minute. This place is a mess. Leave for four months, come back, and everything, everything is upside down. <laughs> what do I pay these people for? Okay, electrics. Here we've got advanced battery capacity 2 and advanced battery power 3. This takes three ancient science books which kind of sucks. We've got loads of battery capacity. I feel like we should probably research Advanced Battery Power 3, mm, but I'm not sure. You guys let me know what you think the best one to research is. We just need to have as much power as possible. I mean, we have 4,320 units of battery charge stored right now, and the wind is actually pretty strong right now. So that'll keep us going for a day or two, I think, depending on how big the farming gets. We don't know yet, but... Uh, it's a black hole. It's a black hole of money, time, and pain, you guys. This is going to take a long time to upgrade Fat City. Fat City is... The layout of this place is also crazy. Since the earthquake, man. I mean, everything's all over the place. This, the new area of Fat City has definitely got to be better planned than this old one is. And we've, we've got to start packing more buildings into the old, the old area as well. Because we're just running out of space in general. I know that sounds hard to believe, but it isn't. Uh, industry, ore drill 2, semi-automatic ore drill, and advanced stone mining. We don't need those. Smithing, there's nothing, unfortunately, and training, we're clear. So, I'm thinking advanced battery power 3, but you guys let me know what you think. Uh, until then, I suppose, I suppose bookmarks on holiday. We can get it to do something else, I suppose. But we've only got one AI core right now. We had like four, if you guys remember. <laughs> let me tell you guys a little story. Uh, we had two safes in the watchtower. They're probably still there. I don't know, because I can't get inside. No one wants to go inside the watchtower. Oh, Biscuit, that's easy. Control shift F11, you might say. Well, let's try that. Oh, look. Nothing broken. Everything fixed. And still, no one wants to go inside. So, I've got like... 
150 grand's worth of awesome loot locked up in this tower and there's no way to get in. <laughs> if anybody knows what we should do with that, do let me know, but I am... I'm not hopeful. I think we're probably gonna have to knock this down and build another one, which is tragic. It's really tragic since there's like four AI cores locked away in there. I'm not happy, you guys. I'm not happy at all. At least we have the one. If we do the advanced power research, we'll use it. So it'll be back on the search for AI cores. These things do my head in, man. I wish more people would sell them. I guess we could pacify the tech hunters and then go rob them again. All right. On with the tour. I've been I've been really busy already, so I've got Dusty to make crossbow crafting bench and a bolt a bolt making bench. So right now I don't know what's wrong with him. Oh, he's made both the hinges. Okay, I had him making hinges and springs, I believe. Spring steel, junk bow, spring bat, crossbow parts. I do believe we need to start making crossbow parts. So let's make two of those. And you get on that. Right. Hinges and spring steel are going to make crossbow parts. And then I suppose crossbow parts are going to make crossbows. That's good times. So we've got Dusty working on that because he's our master craftsman after all. Weaponsmith 88, Armorsmith 42. Oh no, crossbow smith 6. Okay, so we could have somebody else as our crossbow maker for now, since Dusty's a novice too at crossbow making. Hmm, worth a thought, because he's going to have to be casting lots and lots of new weapons, man. We need to build some weapons. I mean, we, we got a few pretty good weapons on our trip, but nothing like he can make. He makes some badass weapons. So we gotta, we got to keep him doing that. What are you lot up to? Ah, uh, the engineers. Looks like they're, uh, they're at a loss. Another mod I might add is the resources nodes mod because all my copper's gone, which really sucks. I mean, the outline copper mine of yesteryear, this thing here, there's no copper here anymore. The other big copper operation up here, it doesn't look like there's anything there at all. Maybe I should go up there. Maybe it's just the draw distance. I'm not sure. It's not looking hopeful though, you guys. I don't see any copper deposits. There's some crappy ones around, like... 10 copper quality or whatever there's there's one down here near the hiver village but 10 copper quality that's a pain in my ass you guys <laughs> so maybe we use the the resources nodes mod and uh i get back my massive chunk of copper that was spawned right here i really like that i think that's a really convenient place for a big piece of good copper so we might do that okay let's uh let's take fly off of this nonsense and get him building walls because that's his dream in life. And uh, that's, I think, the first step to our bigger fat city. Okay, walls. Defensive wall. That's the one we want. Okay, so... Alright, so my idea is to kind of... To extend it. No. What have you done? Alright, that's not going to work. This is not going to be as easy as I thought. <laughs> okay, I've got a plan. Fly, you get over here and you dismantle this. I know you want to build walls, but sometimes you have to break some down. Get over here, buddy. Yes, dismantle this and probably dismantle that as well. Whew. All right, you guys. So, admin and logistics are at an all-time high. We've... We've really, we've really got to streamline the running of Fat City. <laughs> Fergus's job is no longer an empty position. He's got to get in the wheelhouse and steer this baby all the way home. Especially if we're going to raise an army, man. It's got to be beautiful, but it's also got to be practical. Okay, I've, uh, I've just given Fly a purpose in life and set him up with this wall. Check this out. It goes right into the ocean. And the reason for that is uh, I've seen a few drawings, heard a few rumors. I don't know how old those drawings are that I saw online, but I saw them, man. And there are boat concept designs, you guys. So if boats ever arrive, I want a harbor. We need a harbor and we need it to be ready. So hopefully Fly can do this wall for us. It will be pretty epic, I think. Hopefully. You don't have building materials? Well, you better get on that, buddy. Ugh, okay, I've got, to, I've got to go drop off all these weapons now. Man. There's so much admin to be done. The red tape is unreal. Getting anything done around here now 
is uh, three times harder because of the amount of people around here. It is crazy. But I'm going to be doing loads of work in between episodes and hopefully you guys see big jumps. Because if you didn't, something's gone horribly wrong. But yeah, hope you guys are enjoying the new mods. Well, we haven't really had a chance to look at them yet. But I hope you guys are excited about them because I am. I think it's going to be great. I think I'm going to leave it here for today, you guys. I've got so much stuff to do. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace.